Good morning, this is Pastor David Charlton. It's May the 9th, Saturday, and this is my daily devotion. Today I'm going to revert back to what I was doing uh, at the very beginning. I'm going to be using the daily texts that come from Mount Carmel Ministries in Alexandria, Minnesota, and then utilizing the trip method um, for my devotion as well. But we begin, we begin with a hymn today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Faith of our fathers living still, in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy, when are we here? that glorious word, faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. The martyrs chained in prison dark, were still in heart and conscience free, and blessed would be their children's fate, if they like them should die for thee. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers we will love, both friend and foe in all our strife. Proclaim thee to who as love knows how, by saving word and faithful life, faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. The readings from for today are from Deuteronomy, the second chapter, and First Corinthians, the fourth chapter. The Lord our God has blessed you in all your undertakings. It is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. You'll notice in the two texts that I use today that there is that double theme, that dual theme that we have been focusing on this past week. First of all, that we receive God's blessings as a free gift, not because we deserve them, but simply out of his grace. At the same time, because God has blessed us, we're also called to share his gifts with other people. We're called to be both sheep who receive and shepherds who give the gifts. Let us pray. And again, we go from thanks to repentance to intercession and finally to purpose. Lord God, we thank you for the many ways you've blessed us. You have created us and given us life. You provide for our needs every day and guard us from harm. Most of all, through your son, Jesus, you have blessed us with forgiveness and eternal life. We confess that in times of trial, we are apt to forget your blessings. Our focus is on what we have lost and what we are powerless to do and on an uncertain future. Through your Holy Spirit, open our eyes again to see your many blessings Remind us that the gifts that you have given us are eternal, held securely for us in the heavenly places. Remind us that the gift of the gospel has the power to defeat sin, death, and the devil. Make us good stewards of the gospel of Jesus Christ that you have entrusted to us. Help us not to hide this wonderful gift, but to use it to bring hope to all who feel hopeless. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for being with me today. Let us receive the gifts of God with thanks and use his gifts to give hope to others. Amen.